Hi, I'm Stacy, and this is another video tutorial about the Motopress Hotel Booking plugin. We have good news for those who like to edit their websites with a page builder. We released a free Elementor integration add-on that will let you manage the shortcodes of Motopress Hotel Booking visually through the easy drag and drop interface of Elementor. So don't forget to download it and give it a try. The add-on is linked in the description box. You may or may not know that such elements of our booking plugin like search forms and listings can be added to any page of your website with a simple shortcode. Shortcodes in WordPress are little bits of code that allow you to do complex things with little effort. The list of all available shortcodes and their attributes can be found in Accommodation Shortcodes. So to display a search form, you can copy and paste the relevant shortcode. Those who do not like messing with shortcodes can now use Elementor. In order to do so, you need to have three installed and activated plugins. They are Elementor, Motopress Hotel Booking and Hotel Booking Elementor Integration. Add your content to the booking plugin so that you have something to work with. For example, I already have a few accommodation types, seasons and rates created. Now simply open the editor of the page where you want to add an element of our plugin and click Edit with Elementor. In the list of available Elementor modules, you will see the section Motopress Hotel Booking with new modules. Choose an element that you want to add, then drag and drop it where you want the element to be and adjust the shortcode settings. For example, you can create the accommodations listing in a few clicks. If you want to display your properties in columns, first create a layout with the number of columns that you want and add a single accommodation module in each column. The ID parameter is the ID of the accommodation type that you want to display. The ID is visible when you hover over an accommodation type in the Accommodation tab, Accommodation Types. The other settings are quite straightforward. Note that for these modules you can use only the settings available in Elementor. You can adjust the width, background color, margins, borders, but not something like font or button color. All the other styles that cannot be edited through Elementor are inherited from the theme that is activated on your website. In my case, I'm using the Siestra template, which is linked in the description box. So if you want to change your button color, you may want to look for such a setting within the preferences of your active theme. The available modules are a search availability form, search results, accommodation types, single accommodation, services, accommodation rates, booking form, booking confirmation, and checkout form. As we add in more functionality to the booking plugin, do not be surprised if you find more modules or settings than mentioned in this video. To give you a brief description, search availability form adds a general search form on your website. Presets for dates and capacity fields can be selected here. Booking form adds an individual booking form for an accommodation type. It will check the availability only of a specific accommodation type. This module requires the ID of an accommodation type that I mentioned before. Search results is where your search results will be displayed on the website. You can select what info you want to show in the search results, like titles of the accommodation types, featured images, galleries, excerpts, details, prices, view buttons. It also has sorting parameters. This search results page needs to be defined in Accommodation, Settings, Search Results. Accommodation types displays a listing of your accommodation types. It has the same parameters as the search results module but also a book button, how many accommodations you want to display per page, and you can specify what accommodations will be shown in this listing by tag, category, or IDs. Single accommodation will show basic info about an accommodation type. ID is required, and you can select whether or not to display its title, 
Featured image, gallery, excerpt, details, price, view and book buttons. Note that the modules can be combined. For example, the title and image of the same accommodation type can be added on the same page wherever you want by using the single accommodation module twice. Services adds a list of services. Leave the IDs field empty to show all the services or specify the IDs of the services that you want to display. The IDs can be found in the dashboard Accommodation Services. Hover over a service to see the ID in its link. Accommodation rates will show all available rates of a particular accommodation type for current date in a list view. Booking confirmation is used on the page where your customer lands after their booking has been confirmed through an email link. Checkout form is used on the checkout page. It shows the system checkout form that the customers need to fill in before placing a booking. The page with the checkout shortcode needs to be defined as checkout in accommodation settings. That is about all you need to know to use the hotel booking and elementary integration add-on. We will create more integrations with other page builders in the future and will definitely post video tutorials about it. So subscribe for more content like this. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.